Back right, class, here's our uh, second set of notes. Uh, the Concert of Europe in 1850, uh, once again, a series of arrangements to enforce the status quo as defined by the Vienna Agreement uh, against liberalism. Uh, so it really wanted to uh, shut down any type of revolts or anything against the old school monarchies uh, and or conservative movements. Uh, we had one, the Quadruple Alliance, which had Prussia, Austria, Russia, and England. Um, this provided for a concerted action uh, against any balance of power, uh, especially that of France. They didn't want France involved in any kind of military exercises whatsoever. Uh, liberalism uh, was seen at this time as a threat, um, and no relative of Napoleon should ever rule France again, and uh, in addition to that, uh, any other satellite country or uh, an appointment that Napoleon Bonaparte had made in the past, two different countries, uh, no uh, Napoleon uh, Bonaparte's uh, relatives should rule ever again. Um, the Congress system, uh, it was kind of like the first UN. Uh, it was used to control the relations uh, with Europe. Uh, with a series of meetings, so they would come together, have meetings, talk, or discuss about uh, politics around uh, Europe, uh, and then from that point they would make uh, stipulations, uh, once again, in particularly on France, to try to control them. Uh, Britain withdrew from this, uh, thus killing that Congress, um, so it wasn't as effective as it might have uh, thought it could have been. Uh, a Holy Alliance, Prussia, Austria, Russia, uh, proposed by Alex I, the leader, of Russia uh, to stop liberal movements, but it was not uh, looked too highly upon. Uh, so it didn't really have much teeth to uh, have any kind of action. Uh, conservatism, uh, reaction to liberals, uh, or uh, it was made up of order, uh, society and state, faith and tradition, and um, conservatism w was looked upon as you know the old monarchies uh, helping people rule, uh, staying in control, making sure that uh, if there are reforms that it's not too out of, uh, you know, out of touch with what things are going on and to make sure that uh, the liberals don't rise up whatsoever. Uh, Edmund Burke, uh, he was an Englishman, uh, wrote Reflections on the Revolution in uh, France. Um, he wrote about the, the great defense of European conservatism. Uh, he believed in inherited privileges, such as kings and queens, and thought that uh, the conservative movement was uh, the most ideal way to run a government. Uh, Austria, Germany, uh, uh, here's a list of uh, some of the things that were t taking place in different countries around Europe at this time. Austria, Germany, and I say Germany loosely because they weren't really a, a country at this time. Um, was a multi-ethnic uh, composition of uh, Habsburg Empire, uh, could have been more liberal, uh, so they were a little bit worried because of the multi-ethnic uh, makeup of the country. So they were very worried about people uh, you know, getting fired up and wanting their own uh, governments or their own countries. So the people in Austria were very conservative and very worried about uh, the things that were going on in their country. Uh, remember the Austria-Hungary Empire uh, became one of the largest uh, empires right before World War I at that time. Uh, Carlsbad died in 1819, called by Metternich. Remember Metternich from uh, Austria was a, quite the conservative um, that drove liberalism underground. So uh, in Austria, if you were a liberal, uh, you did not stand a chance. Uh, they'd throw you in jail and kill you. Uh, in Prussia, the Junkers, or very conservative leaders, followed Metternich uh, to the T, and they believed uh, in his writings uh, wholeheartedly. Uh, going on in Britain, uh, very conservative Tories, the Tory government. Um, <clears throat> the Tories are the ones that uh, overthrew Napoleon, so they were very, very conservative. Uh, they believed in the Corn Laws, which did not allow outside countries to sell corn in England, so it had to come from England, so they're very conservative in that manner. Um, that you know, rose prices and gave people who uh, grew corn in England um, more money, but at the same time, many, many people starved. Uh, they actually suspended the habeas uh, corpus, or repealed it, uh, laws that gave people uh, the rights 
uh, basic rights. It's fir first and only time in English history. Uh, there was the Peterloo Mass Massacre, which we've talked about before, where there were some uh, people that were uh, protesting against anti-corn laws, some liberals, and uh, they just rode in there with the military and, and cut them down. Uh, France uh, began as a very liberal, and you would expect this after the Napoleon and the French Revolution. People kind of backlash, so there's a very liberal movement in uh, France. But King Louis the uh, 18th um, was uh, returns, um, so there was some of King Louis the 16th, uh, you know, sons that you know continued on, live on, and King Louis the 18th returns. They put him back into power. Um, there was the White Terror of 1815, where they put down the liberals. They killed quite a few people. And in 1829, uh, King Louis XVIII uh, cracks down the liberals even more and becomes extremely conservative. So there was a transition from liberal right after the French Revolution and Napoleonic era. Uh, boom, 1829. It's almost like any other country in Europe. Russia was ruled by Alex I. Uh, but his death in 1825 leads to a power vacuum. Uh, Nicholas, uh, the younger brother, uh, becomes the ruler. Uh, at, at that point, the Decemberist uprising in 1825, where um, the upper class revolts. So it's not the bourgeoisie or the lower class. This was the upper class. The revolt failed. Uh, Russia becomes a police state after that. Um, very, very conservative, almost quite possibly the most conservative in Europe. Um, two movements, Slav, Slavophiles, um, believed uh, that r the Russian village life uh, was superior to the West, and then you had the Western Westernizers um, that wanted to use Western ideas in Russia to try to modernize Russia. Um, but you had a lot going on in Russia, but it was very, very repressive there, and there was not very many opportunities. All right. Make sure that you take some good notes. Two questions, full summary. Thanks.